Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create bulk YouTube shorts using three powerful, completely free tools. There are people out there pulling in hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views with these short videos that only take minutes to create. Can you guess how much they're making per month? Drop a comment with your guess and I'll pin the person who gets it right. I'm waiting. We're talking anywhere from $5,000 to $30,000 a month, depending on how they monetize their channels. What if I told you that you could create 500 short clips like these in just 20 minutes and monetize social media accounts to literally retire yourself from home? In this video, I'm not only going to show you how to create boatloads of these viral short clips, but also how you can easily scale your brand and monetize these channels quickly using a secret method to schedule posts everywhere with one click. We're going to use two AI tools to make shorts and automate the process. The first tool we're using is, of course, ChatGPT. And don't worry, you won't have to pay for the plus version. I've made sure that this method can be used by literally anyone, regardless of financial situation, education, or experience. Whether you're looking to create viral content or streamline your workflow, this method will save you tons of time. So let's jump right in. First, we need to generate content for our shorts. Head over to ChatGPT and create an account if you haven't already. Once you're logged in, type in a prompt to generate facts about your chosen topic. For this example, I'll ask ChatGPT for 10 engaging facts that cats and dogs have in common for a YouTube short form video. If you like the facts provided, copy and paste them into a Google Docs file for easy access later. You can even tweak the facts to make them more engaging or ask ChatGPT to rewrite them in a fun conversational tone. For example, instead of just saying, both cats and dogs have highly sensitive whiskers that help them navigate their surroundings, especially in the dark, you could say. Ever wonder how your cat sneaks up on you in the dark? That's because both cats and dogs have super-powered night vision. Once you have your list of facts, Think about how you want to present them. Will you add a bit of humor? Maybe turn them into a quick quiz format? Getting creative with how you deliver information can make your shorts more engaging and shareable. Now, let's get visuals to match our facts. Instead of searching for random images, we'll generate custom visuals that perfectly align with our content. To do this, I'll ask ChatGPT to generate prompts for Leonardo AI, ensuring each one vividly describes the facts we just gathered. Once we have 10 prompts, one for each fact, we're good to go. Head over to Leonardo AI and create an account. The great thing is, Leonardo gives you 150 free fast tokens daily, so you can create high quality images at no cost. This means you won't have to worry about running out while working on your shorts. Once you're in, click on image creation, then navigate to model preset and change it to anime for a more stylized look. If you prefer a more realistic or artistic style, you can experiment with different models to see what works best for your content. Next, adjust the image dimensions to 916, which is the ideal size for shorts, ensuring your visuals fit perfectly on mobile screens. Now, paste in your first prompt and hit generate. Take a moment to review the result. Does it match the fact you're illustrating? If yes, download it to your device. If not, you can refine the prompt slightly or try a different model for better results. Repeat this process for all 10 prompts, generating unique visuals for each fact. Once you're done, organize the images into folders labeled by fact so you can easily find them when editing. Now that we have our visuals ready, let's move on to the next step. Let's bring everything together using CapCut. If you haven't already, download and open CapCut, then click on Script to Video. This feature is a game changer because it automates much of the editing process, saving you time. First, paste in the facts we saved earlier and choose a voice for narration. CapCut offers a variety of AI-generated voices, so pick one that fits your style, whether that's energetic, calm, or professional. Once you've selected your voice, click Generate Video, then Local Media, and CapCut will automatically create captions, audio, and background music for you. Before adding images, listen to your audio to ensure it sounds smooth and natural. If needed, adjust the pacing or make minor edits. Group all audio clips related to a single fact together by pressing Ctrl or Command if you're using a Mac. Select all audio clips for a fact, then right-click Create Compound. This makes it easier to manage your timeline and separate each short. Repeat this process for all 10 facts, making sure each section flows smoothly. Once all clips are grouped and organized, move on to the next step. 
It's time to add visuals. Click Media, Import and select the folders with your downloaded images. Once you've imported them, lock all your layers. This is really important because if you don't, it will mess up your text. Now click the plus button on folder one to add them to your timeline. Next, select all images in your timeline and create a compound. Then click on speed to adjust the duration. Make sure the images match the audio timing accordingly. This ensures the visuals align with the narration, making the video feel more polished. Repeat this for every fact. After adjusting the speed for all images, change the size ratio to 916. This is crucial because it ensures the images fit perfectly on mobile screens, giving your video a clean, professional look. With your visuals synced and sized correctly, we're getting closer to the final steps of turning this into a seamless, engaging short. To make my video pop, I'll add some effects. Go to Effects, search for whichever effect you want to add. For this example, I'll use Gold Dust which gives a bit of sparkle and flair. Apply it to all clips. Now let's animate our clips. Click on Animation Combo, and I'm going to choose Zoom In for a smooth, dynamic effect. Apply this to each clip to give the video some movement and make it more visually interesting. Remember, you can experiment with different effects and animations to suit your style, but for this tutorial, I'm using Gold Dust and Zoom In to keep things simple and dynamic. Next, let's fine-tune the captions. Move them to the middle of the clip for better visibility, then customize them by selecting a font that matches your style, changing the text color to make it stand out, and increasing the outline thickness to give the text more definition. Adding a shadow will help the text pop, especially against lighter backgrounds. I also want to separate my title from the main text, so I'll go into the caption section, split the titles by going where I want to split, and hitting enter. Adjust everything accordingly. Just a heads up, if you have apply to all selected, whatever changes you make to one text element will be applied to all of the text elements in the video. So when you're fine tuning things like font, color, outline thickness, or shadow, make sure apply to all is toggled off if you want to customize individual captions. That way, you can treat each text box separately adjusting your title and main text without affecting the others. This is helpful when you want to differentiate your title from the rest of the captions. To balance everything, let's tweak the background music. Set the volume between Nidus 15 to Bita 20 dB so it doesn't overpower the narration. This ensures that the music complements the voiceover rather than competing with it. If you don't like the background music, you can always swap it for something else. Next, split the music into segments to match each fact. This gives the video a more dynamic flow, with the music adjusting to the pace of your visuals and narration. Once you've done that, create a compound clip by selecting all the elements related to a single fact, texts, images, audio, and music, and grouping them together. If anything shifts out of place, go to the middle left, click the mouse pointer icon, and select rightward. Lock any layers you don't want to move, then click on the layer you need to adjust. This makes it easier to manage the timeline and ensures that everything stays synchronized. Repeat this for each fact. Finally, let's export our videos. If you want to export them one by one, select the clip you want to export, then right-click, select Export Clips, and change the file name. Repeat this process for all 10 shorts, ensuring each one is properly selected and exported. Otherwise, select all your clips, right-click, and choose Export Clips. Once all your clips are exported, they will be saved in a folder. The result will look something like this. And that's it! You now have 10 engaging, high-quality shorts ready to post. However, for these short clips, the most important part is not how you create them, but what you do with them. Many creators will just leave you here and let you proceed on your own, but I'm going to show you how to utilize this method to the max and easily grow several accounts to over 10,000 followers in one month. We'll want to use a very special website called Buffer. This is every content creator's dream tool. It's the easiest way to schedule all your posts on all your social platforms like Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, and more with just one click. That means you don't have to manually upload to each platform. What you want to do is sign up for their free trial and create an account. After that, 
connect all your social media accounts to Buffer so that it ends up looking like this. It's a pretty straightforward process, so I won't go into detail here. Now go to your calendar and click on Create Post. Choose which channels you want to upload to, insert your clip, fill out your captions, and you're literally ready to publish with just a few clicks. I won't be posting something now, but once you're done, just press Share Now, and it automatically does it for you. Congratulations. If you've made it this far, you've just automated your whole content creation process, and you're now able to surpass your competitors super easily. By posting these videos consistently across all platforms, you'll without a doubt gain incredible amounts of traction and views. I've linked all the tools used today below so you can access them easily. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.